smell of the day. Someone reached in and grabbed it. What a rock lobster job. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're doing buoyancy. Welcome to Friedman Cruise Lines. Today we're going to be discussing buoyancy. We have three different prototypes to show you Queen Bessie the SS Anna and the SF Friedman. We're going to be discussing these all in terms of buoyancy. We're going to talk about Archimedes' principle, pressure, Pascal's principle, and area versus volume as it all relates to buoyancy. Buoyancy! Whoosh. Buoyancy is the upward force that is produced by the surrounding fluid in which it is fully or partially submerged in water. This is due to the pressure that is being exerted either on the top or the bottom of the vehicle. In this case, a boat. Therefore, in order to understand buoyancy, you have to understand this equation. The net upward buoyant force is equal to the magnitude of the weight of the displaced fluid, and that's going to cause something to float or sink. In order to find the water weight of an object, you're going to find the total force on the object in water. So you're going to set up an equation that has F net is equal to W, which is the weight outside of water, and you're going to subtract PVG. P is going to stand for density, V for volume, and G for gravity. This is all going to represent the buoyant force. And you'll note that there's a negative P, which is going to mean that uh, it's moving in the opposite direction of gravity. If the buoyancy of an object exceeds its weight, then it will rise. But if the buoyancy of an object is less than its weight, it will sink. Hey there, I want to explain Archimedes' principle now. Now let's say you have a bowling ball and an object taking up the same amount of space. Their buoyant force, which is the force coming from the bottom pushing them upwards, is going to be the same because they have the same volume. Now the reason the bowling ball is going to sink and the object taking up space, which let's say it has less mass, is going to float is because of density and because the bowling ball has a greater downward force, which is gravity, going against the upward force because you subtract the two. That's also why these side forces cancel out, hence why objects float and objects fall. So let's take for example you have a rock. It weighs 10 newtons. Well Archimedes' principle states that the buoy force that's going to be pushing it upwards is going to be equal to the amount of water weight it's going to be displacing. So let's say that's 3 newtons. So that's 10 newtons minus 3 newtons equals 7 newtons. Which is basically why it's easier to lift stuff in water. Pascal's Law. Pascal's Law states that a change in pressure between two elevations is due to the weight of the fluid between the elevations. Or in other words, delta P, which is the difference in pressure at two points in a fluid column, is equal to the fluid density times gravity times the difference in height, which is the height of the top minus the height of the bottom. And that's Pascal's Law. In the experiment you are about to see, you will see how the different shapes of our boats displace different volumes of water based on the volume of each ship. We placed each in a bucket of water containing 37.85 liters, and the density of water is one gram per milliliter. This is the SS Anna. Anna has a height of 4 inches, a width of 3.75 inches, and a length of 7 inches. 50 grams. Another 50 grams. Another 50 grams for 150 grams. Another 50 grams for 200 grams. Oh, five. <laughs> and that was SS Anna. This is the SF Howard. Howard has a 2 inch height, a 7.75 inch width, and 11 inch length. 50 grams. Another 50 grams of class. Another 50 grams for a total of 150 grams. 
another 50 grams for a total of 200 grams. Another 50 grams for a total of 250 grams. Another 50 grams for 300 grams. Still afloat. Yet another 50 grams for a total of 350 grams. Still going. Another 50 grams, 400 grams in total. Howard's still kicking. Yeah, Howard. Another 50 grams for a total of 450 grams. Yeah. Yeah. Another little 20 grams for 470 grams. 120 grams. 100 grams. More. <laughs> Sorry, Howard. Due to weather conditions, we're moving inside for Betsy. <laughs> this is Queen Bessie. Bessie has a 1 inch height with a 9.75 inch width and a 13 inch length. Bessie, 50 grams. Another 50 grams for 100 grams in total. Another 50 grams for a total of 150 grams. Another 50 grams for 200 grams. This is exciting. Another 50 grams for 250 grams. Take that, you cow. Another 50 grams for 300 grams. Another 50 grams for 350 grams. Another 50 grams for 400 grams. Yeah. Another 50 grams for 450 grams total. Another 50 grams for a total of 500 grams. Another 20 grams for a total of 520 grams. 100 grams for a total of 620 grams. Another 100 grams for a total of 720 grams. Hold on, Bessie. Another 100 grams for a total of 820 grams. And down goes Bessie. They were so young. <laughs>